If you've ever wondered why the world unanimously agreed that red means stop, you're definitely not alone. Every day, billions of people encounter red stoplights, red stop signs, red warning labels, and red emergency buttons. It's so universal that most of us never stop to think about it. But behind that simple red lies a dramatic mix of science, psychology, symbolism, train accidents, and historical twists. So today, let's unravel the story. Why red became the global color of stopping, right here on History of Simple Things. Humans didn't randomly choose red. Long before stop signs existed, red already had a reputation. Early humans associated red with blood, fire, and heat, all things that demanded attention. Red was the difference between survival and danger. In cave paintings, red was used more than any other pigment because it came from iron oxide, which was both common and remarkably vibrant. Even ancient civilizations used red to mark sacred or forbidden areas. So before roads, cars, or even language systems, humans were already hardwired to see red as a signal that meant, pay attention, something important is happening. Fast forward thousands of years, that instinct still exists. But instincts alone didn't choose the color for modern traffic. Technology, visibility, and a lot of trial and error did. To find the real beginning of red as a modern warning color, we have to go back to the 1800s, when railroads were the cutting-edge technology that controlled the world's transportation. Railroads needed a standardized way to communicate with engineers across long distances and through terrible weather. Signal flags and lanterns became essential. Early on, different rail companies experimented with different colors – blue, purple, even white. And that's exactly where problems began. Rail companies eventually realized that red was the most visible color over long distances, especially during fog or rain. Scientists later confirmed why. Red has one of the longest wavelengths of visible light, meaning it scatters less in the atmosphere. Even from far away, red stands out like it's glowing compared to other colors. Railroads adopted a simple color code in which red meant stop, green meant proceed, and yellow signaled caution. Sound familiar? That's because today's traffic lights were directly inspired by railroad signals. But what really locked red into its meaning wasn't just visibility. It was a disaster. Long before traffic lights or stop signs, Red was already used as a warning in many everyday situations. Ships hoisted red flags to signal danger. Armies used red banners to indicate attack. And miners carried red lamps to mark hazardous areas underground. Even in marketplaces, red was used to catch attention, whether for sales, announcements, or warnings. This widespread cultural use reinforced Red's connection to alertness and caution across generations. By the time modern engineers and designers started thinking about traffic control, humans were already primed to notice Red first. That instinctive reaction gave early traffic planners a significant advantage. They could rely on a color that naturally drew attention and conveyed urgency reducing confusion on the roads even before standardized signs or signals existed. In the early 1900s, one rail company used white to mean go, until a missing red lens caused a deadly crash when a train engineer mistook the white light for a signal to proceed. Railroads then made red the universal color for stop. Early roads were chaotic, some towns had flag-waving policemen, others nothing. 
and though red was the obvious choice for stop signs by 1923, early red paint faded too fast. Ironically, for years, stop signs weren't red at all. Believe it or not, the original standardized stop sign in 1923 was actually yellow, not red, and the choice came down to two key reasons. Yellow paint was far more durable than red, staying bright and visible much longer. And yellow itself is incredibly eye-catching, reflecting sunlight better than almost any other color, which is also why school buses are yellow. By the 1950s, new red reflective coatings finally made the color durable, bright, and long-lasting, giving engineers everything they needed, a reliable red, a universal association with danger, and a traffic system already using red for stoplights. So in 1954, the U.S. officially adopted red for stop signs, and by the 1968 Vienna Convention, the rest of the world followed. Even though science and history explain a lot, human psychology reinforces the choice. Red triggers an instinctive response in the brain. It activates the amygdala, the part responsible for detecting potential threats. That's why red alerts you faster than any other color, raises your heart rate slightly, and pulls your attention even if you're not trying to look at it. Combine that with thousands of years of cultural associations, and red becomes the perfect color for anything that requires you to stop immediately. Red became the standard stop color through a combination of factors. Its long wavelength makes it highly visible. Railroads had long used it for stop signals, humans naturally associate it with danger, durable red coatings made it practical and global agreements cemented it as the universal choice. Remember that simple color carries a fascinating history shaped by ancient instincts, railroad mishaps, scientific progress, and decades of safety debates. Red isn't just a color, but a universal language understood across cultures and generations. The world didn't choose red overnight. It earned its place, which is why no matter where you go, one message is unmistakably clear. Red means stop. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.